but he just got off of work. I'm gonna go head over to, uh, I'm not even gonna go to this uh, advanced auto. I'm actually gonna go in, uh, to an O'Reilly's um, in Wilson, so. Uh, I'm gonna run home, get changed, and we'll get going to the uh, auto parts store. All right, see you guys in a minute. Later. All right, so as you see, I just got off work, and we're heading over to our local AutoZone place. So actually, we're going to O'Reilly's. This is the only place that I can get uh, the parts that I actually need. So, uh, so stay tuned, and we're gonna get the parts, and then we're gonna head back, and we're gonna get started on working on the shocks and the rear sway bar lengths, and also um, the reason why I'm going O'Reilly's is because they have exhaust pipes, and the exhaust pipe that I have, if you heard, uh, it's pretty loud because it's sitting literally in the middle of the truck, so it's pushing out some fumes, and I'm wanting it to actually go to the complete rear, so I'm going to go get a, uh, a piece that I need, button up everything that I need for that, that'll be done over with. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys here shortly and we'll, uh, we'll get the ball rolling. So, you get to see me struggle. Yeah, that's right. You see how cramped I am right now? I'm literally laying on the ground for you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I went out and I had to get a jack which you see right there by AC Delco. I went to our local O'Reilly's um, uh, cause they had what I needed. Um, I needed a straight pipe piece about a good two and a half uh, feet long. So went out and I got that. Um, and I also picked up ugh. cotter pins for the sway bar that didn't have a cotter pin for it. Thanks, Detroit Axle. But anyways, we're going to attempt to put the rear shocks on finally and attempt to put the rear sway bar links. And then if I feel froggy because... Right now, it's just now being, it's just now getting sunny. Um, it's been downpouring all day today. So we're gonna do our best and hopefully, hopefully you guys will watch the show and see me bust my ass and be cramped in here. Ow! If you noticed, I also have, <laughs> That used to be for my spare tire. Um, ow! So yeah, I don't want to be getting poked by that. Oh, shit. I might need a tetanus shot. You never know. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. Pardon my language. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to be dealing with that all night. Uh, all day. Uh, but... If you notice the way my shocks sit. So someone put it on completely backwards. And that's why I was wondering why why is it that the rears are are not <laughs> the rear end feels like it's just swaying all over the place. So I got the rear sway bar links down here, which one didn't come with a pin, which whatever and I got the bolts but then when I went to O'Reilly's I forgot to pick up a very important thing WD-40 uh, so I was told by a local and he told me that brake fluid or brake cleaner sorry brake fluid brake cleaner works pretty good so <clears throat> yeah you're gonna Mm. Ah. Motherfucker. Anyways, let's try to get started on this shit, alright? So, post you guys up here. Ow! Uh, 
scratching the crap out of me. Mm. So yeah, got my 18 millimeter there, and the other side is a 15 millimeter. So, but let's go ahead and see if this works. Basically, he said, just don't get it on any major components. So, let's just move these up. Ugh, that shit smells bad. Oh my god. Ugh. Garbage. So windy, it went back in my face. Ugh. Oh god. Oh. Did I spray yous? Yeah, I think I sprayed you a little bit. You're okay. You'll be fine. Ugh. So basically all I need to do is replace this. This thing, I, I guess the rubber bushings are no good in it anymore or something. I don't know. Uh, spray me. Ow, I'm fucking shit. Stop poking me. Ugh. Alright, well, anyways, so, Jerry, break this shit. This shithead. See? This side's supposed to be up here, and this is supposed to be down here. But they flipped it upside down, I don't know why. So. But they need to get to the belt! Ugh! Spray me! Oh no, no, no. I almost sprayed my face. Let's see. Get the jack up high. The 15 millimeter. It won't lock in place. Okay. We're good. Let's see what we can do. Oh, buddy, you're not uh, you're not gonna work for me, are you? Holy shit! You're tight as hell. Oh. is not going to happen. Oh, this is going this way. This needs to go that way. Let's see if I got some clearance. This is bullshit! Well, guys, I'm not Incredible Hulk, that's for sure. I don't know what else to do. Ugh. Holy nuts, dude. Like, what the hell? Uh, so, if you can see, you know, I'm using wrenches and socket wrenches and this shit doesn't want to come off. I don't have the strength, Captain. Well, guys, hmm. 
anyways, so I went through the trouble <laughs> of going out and getting what I needed to do this. But, I have to be to work again in the morning. Yes, I work full time. <coughs> And I'm not trying to snap any bolts. So, with that being said, because these things are rusted on there pretty damn good, is uh, we're going to go ahead and bring it to our local uh, auto tire shop here downtown, down in town. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. And sorry to you guys. And, uh... I don't know. Let me try it one more time. I don't know. Nah. 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 Even as a man... and a, You know, even as an amateur mechanic or a pro mechanic, if you're at home and you don't have the right tools and the right equipment... You don't want to fuck shit up. Pardon my language, but it's true. You don't want to mess anything up. Not only that, but I'm cramped as hell. I want to get up off the dirt. I mean, I'm literally sitting on... Laying. I'm sorry. I'm literally laying on... Two old... Outdoor furniture cushions. And I'm on... Everywhere. So, ow, you son of a bitch. Oh, this stupid pokey thing. Shit happens. I couldn't do the suspension on here. Here I am laying underneath my truck. And it's whatever. You know, some things are a fail. So I'll go spend a little bit of money, bring it down to the local shop. Have them take care of it for me. Uh, for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take care of the uh, the piping. And that'll be for a later time. But uh, I'm going to do something with the truck. Uh, if I can't do the actual suspension, I'm just going to go and bring it over to the local boys. I'll record it over there. And you guys can see how they do their work. It's kicked my ass. <laughs> And I'm not going to screw anything up. So, I will talk to you guys later. Peace.